Hello everyone and welcome. In the last few months, there have been Microsoft updates and patches and hotfixes that have caused steelheads not to join the Active Directory domain properly. In this video, I will be walking you through a workaround that Riverbed has discovered that will allow steelheads to join the domain properly. So thank you for joining me and let's begin. Okay, so first thing is we select both the steelheads in Steel Central Controller and send the, the command to show domain configuration just to verify what is the current status of both of our steelheads. And we'll see that uh, the command runs successfully. Um, we will look at the output of the command and it will show you that the steelheads have joined the domain currently in win 2 k 8 mode. And this is the mode that has been uh, shown to cause some some, some trouble so our goal is to change it and the very first step according to the knowledge base article um, you'll, you'll see in a moment is that we rdp into our domain controller there you can see the two steelheads in the object in the users and computers uh, we're going to use this command that's also documented in the uh, knowledge base article one per steelhead so we're going to change the active directory object for both the steelheads to the um, to the correct uh, object and then we're going to send a rejoin command again this is documented in the knowledge base article we're going to send a rejoin command using the scc controller and change the join type to workstation so we copy that command right here and send it to the two appliances uh, using the send button there we go and it's on its way and we will verify that the command has actually been sent and executed on the appliances we're going to see join in progress and then waiting a few minutes, we will uh, send another command, again, just to verify the status of domain join. And again, we go uh, select both appliances, send CLI commands, and we're going to show the domain configuration for these two S commands is uh, sent successfully. Let's have a look at the operation results. And you'll see that the operation shows that it's joined in the uh, workstation mode. And that was it. Okay, so what we just saw was a rather simplified example of the knowledge base article instructions followed in real life on Steelheads and the Steelhead central controller. In real life production environments, there may be a lot more Steelheads and more complex setups. But hopefully this gives you an idea of what you actually have to do and the results of those instructions. So thank you for joining me in this video. See you again next time. Bye-bye.